Dave Goldberg, what would a, a, an actual time travel vehicle look like, do you think? Well, it would, uh, it would look a lot like a spaceship. Um, remember that the, 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 the practical models that people have designed, and I'm using practical in the absolute loosest sense of the word here, uh, typically involve uh, manipulating huge amounts of, of matter and energy. And then, by and large, you need to be able to fly around them, and, and in many cases, fly around them at uh, close to the speed of light. So they're going to look a lot like a spaceship. You're going to have to go a lot faster than you know, 88 miles an hour. Well, the, 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 the mileage referred to as the, the good science fiction geek that you are <laughs> in Back to the Future, uh, which the DeLorean in that movie traveled in order to go back in time. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. <laughs> So 88 miles an hour wouldn't really work. We, I think we're, we can all agree on that. But <laughs> Back to the Future does deal uh, centrally in its plot with a real problem of time travel, for people who think about it, which is this grandfather paradox. Explain, please. Okay. Well, I think uh, Connie, Connie did a, uh, a much more colorful version than is uh, <laughs> normally standard. But, uh, <laughs> but the, the, the basic picture is, you go back in time, and for reasons that probably shed an unflattering light on the psyche of physicists or science philosophers, you go back, and for reasons that are unspecified, you kill your grandfather before your father was born. Well, great, then you weren't born. So who killed your grandfather? That's, that's the central paradox. Um, and this can be resolved in an ugly way and a nice way. <laughs> and the, the ugly way is? The ugly way is, is you introduce something like parallel universes. So you go back, you kill your, your grandfather, who I, was, if I assume you refer to as Anderson. Yes. Um, but it turns out it's not your grandfather. It's the grandfather. It's, it's a person in another universe. Which so branches off which at Which branches each. off. The thing is, though, the reason I call that the ugly way is that while people, well, physicists like to talk about parallel universes, there's no real connection between traveling in, in space and traveling in time and traveling to parallel universes. It's just not part of it's just not part of how we understand the universe to work. The nice way is that you just can't do it. I mean and that's that that or I guess it wasn't to, really your grandfather. <laughs> or it wasn't really your grandfather yeah. or I mean you know that you, you, you don't do it. Now what stops you? This is where I get to say yeah, I'm a physicist so I'll, I'll I'll talk to you about this later and I'll let a philosopher deal with this. Perhaps you choose not to, perhaps something gets in your way, but as far as we can tell, there should just be a single history, which means that there is something preventing you from killing the person that you thought was your grandfather or is well, your grandfather. Well, and Connie, in your time travel fiction, you sort of set up as a special Connie Willis rule right. that you really can't do much when you go in the past. Right. Uh, my historians, if they attempt to go back and, and shoot Hitler, say, um, they find themselves, they, they're going to go to 1938 Munich, and they find that when they intend to do that, they will be in 1956 Munich, or they will be in 1938 Montana, and they will not be able to get anywhere near Hitler to kill him, because that would affect the, the main time stream. That's in my first couple of books, but I sort of call that into question in my new book. So Really? But yeah. that was your story, and you still sort of are sticking to I'm it. I'm sticking to it, kind of. Yeah. Good. <laughs> kind of. Um, so now you can change the I, future? I, my, no? my characters are really worried that they may have accidentally changed the future. Uh -huh. Yeah, which gives them a lot of angst because Hitler winning World War II is not a pretty picture. Yeah, but would that also cover my buying the Monet for 50 bucks and bringing it back? Would that be changing? Yes, absolutely. In my, in my <laughs> universe, you can't do that. You, you'll just be stopped. You'll, you'll never get into the mu The museum will be closed. You're a killjoy. I am honest. a killjoy. <laughs> but it was the only way I could think of to get my characters back in time and, and allowed to visit history because I don't like for literary reasons, I don't like the parallel universe thing. I want to operate in real, real history because I think it's more interesting. So, Connie Willis, Dave Goldberg, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.